Hello, Hugh Candy here, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. And we're back in Oridon. It does feel like a little while since we recorded the last episode where we built this office park here. There's a bit of a transition between the Solitude Ports, the campus area, and going on to downtown, which is what we are going to start today. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait. But a couple of just admin type things first as we watch this sunset over this new area here. So I have decided to call this area Orifices. And that was a suggestion by actually by two people, by both Matt Wilson and by Mackie. So thank you so much for that suggestion. I like obviously absolutely love it. So it was a really nice play on words. So yeah, we've gone for that for this office district here. So this is the Orifices that we're looking at now. And also special shout out to Kyle Sevenoaks, who suggested calling this building here the Aura Donut, which I absolutely love. And on the live stream the other day, we did talk about maybe this was the insurance building for all the claims by the citizens of Oradon when the bus drivers run them over. That's where they go, to the Aura Donut, to the insurance claims office there, <laughs> in the Orifices office park. So there we go, a little bit of Oradon lore for the start of the episode there. Now, we did also come in on the live stream last time and finally finished off detailing around this stadium area. So we put in a little coach park that you can see down here. Yeah, cute little thing I think it turned out to be, although I do want to mix up the type of buses in it because that still feels very stale. So we'll do that in a second. And then we built this little backstage area complete with a little players meet and greet queuing system office area here. We could go and meet the players if you wanted to. A couple of limos, someone important being picked up there, a couple of player coaches, that sort of thing, and then flushed out with a lot of police and, and ambulances and the such like. And then we did start to upgrade further our campus by adding in a few more campus buildings here. And yeah, we have filled in this area. There's still a few gaps. We need to sort out this bit amongst the road here. So we will come in and do that on another live stream. There's one more live stream for this area and hopefully that will be it. But it's all coming together. I'm absolutely loving these nighttime views over the city, but that is all about to change because today we are heading over here and we are going to start looking at our downtown. Now, first things first for this area, I want to do a little bit of terraforming because at the moment it's relatively flat, so I have already done some terraforming here, but there's certain things that I want to bring out into this massive downtown area that we're going to have here. So I definitely want to be extending out the canal district for starters. So we need it to be at a decent terrain height for those canals to sit nicely. So ideally the same as canal are done here. That means an awful lot of lowering out into this area to bring out our canal network down there. I also have the ring road that we started here that I want to bring out. And I want to bring some layered waterfront action in round this little inland river bit here running up to the downtown. So I want to have the downtown on one height and then a lower waterfront around the edge where we can have little marinas, we can have it much closer to the water, more sensible for ferry stops, that kind of thing. Because at the moment, this is relatively high. People will be jumping off the ferries if we add that in. So we will terraform a little layer out around this peninsula, or oh, inland peninsula, oh, wait, river, river, let's call it river. And then, of course, we also want to connect up these various different roads that we've got going in too. And then on top of that, we also have public transport connections. So we've got the metro coming in here. We've also got metro underground from the hub here. We've got monorail extending in there. And then, of course, we have our train lines as well. So finally, we will bring in a big train transport hub into the downtown. And there will be lots of transport options going on here. So first things first, I am just going to terraform this area to get a nice big flat landmass for our downtown and also terraform out a much lower level for our canal network over here. So I'm just going to grab the height from Canal Adon and I'm going to start bringing it out into a large flat plateau for our canal district over here. So we have a nice big flat piece of land which is now nice and close to the edge of the water as well, which is exactly what we want when we're putting in canals. So I'm just going to grab this canal and what we will do is bring it out under the highway like this. And this gives us some great opportunities for detailing there. And in fact, what I will do is actually just put in a straight section here first so we can line it up all nicely. So we'll come in like that and then we'll go into the water there. And then let's just break off that little piece that we did and make sure that that curve is nice and smooth into that canal section there. So yeah, there we go. Now what I'd like to do here is actually start to introduce some of the wider canals. 
So I'm going to bring up a section and in fact we will just clear out the trees before we do anything else. And let's bring up a section which is going to come into the water about here. So we'll bring out a diagonal bit like that and then bring it down into connect and connecting up to this canal here. Let's turn anarchy on just to get that connection in and then we can pull it down into the water here. Now we'd just like another little bit. I think we'll go back to the narrow canal for this and we'll just bring back two sections into the water like so here. And I think for now that will do. We're going to come on to the canal district in a later episode. That's not going to be today. I'm not sure exactly what's happening with the terrain here. Let's just check that connection. Okay, so I've had to bring that in at a slightly different angle, but that's fine. That all still works and the terrain is, is nice and flat there. So yeah, we'll come on to the canal district in a later episode. So we won't do much more than that with it now, but I just wanted to make sure the terrain was there so that we could plan out our downtown road network above it. Now I am just going to make sure that this is all level up here, ready for our downtown. And it is pretty much all level, so we'll just smooth that all out and bring it right up to the edge of this canal district here. And what I will do is leave a little bit of a hill over this side. I want some interesting things in the terraforming here. I don't want everything to just be completely flat in the Oridans downtown. We'll use a little bit of building on slopes and that sort of thing in here. Now this bit, I'd like this super smooth so that we get a really nice gentle flow down into the canal district here. So I'm going to just use the smooth tool, the soften tool, and we'll just soften that right out so that we've got nice big thick lines between the topography lines there so that the roads can just flow nice and gently down into the canal district. So that'll do nicely. Now in terms of the other terraforming, as mentioned, I would like to bring in the ring road which is going to run around the outside of this half of the downtown here and we'll probably have another one that will be introduced in this half later on. But focusing on this half for now, I do want the ring road to come down onto a lower plateau section around the water's edge here. So what we are going to do is I'm actually just going to grab the same height as the canal district here. And we're just going to terraform out a really simple plateau all the way around the edge of the water here. So just like that, so we've got space for the Ring Road Highway and then we also have space for a little bit of building and infrastructure next to it, which is exactly what we want there. So let's actually just go ahead and bring in our Ring Road Road. So the road that I'm going to use is a four lane two way highway here, just a simple one. So it's not going to be a major highway like this one, but it should work nicely. So let's just turn on topography lines so we can make sure we are following that and respecting that nicely. So for this side, we are just going to follow the coast round nice and gently. And we'll have quite a natural coastline on this side of the downtown. So this will be rocks and trees and the typical environment that we're used to seeing in Oridon around this side. I'm going to sweep it across here because I do have plans for this peninsula, which we'll come on to in a later episode. And then here, what we're going to do is just use our slope tool. So if we right click there, let's make the brush size a little bit smaller then we can slope up the terrain nicely for the highway to come nice and gently down onto this lower level here. So let's just go back and grab our highway and then we can curve it in. And what I will do here is just literally follow this plateau round that we have created here. And then what I'd like to do on this side is create quite a straight line. So we will come up just like that. And then here again, I'm going to use the slope tool. So right click at the top of the slope and then just drag up where we want our nice gentle slope to be. So we use that and then we will bring the highway up back onto the upper level here, which will connect into the main road network there. And we will have obviously connections further around as we go. So now to tidy up this waterfront, I want to put keys all the way along it so we can have ferry stops, we can have a nice waterfront area for our downtown here. So I am just gonna bring this out at yeah, I think about there. So we've got enough room to have some building and some infrastructure on this side. We will just bring it in slightly like that. And then we'll continue this on round. We'll use our curved road tool to get around the corner here. 
and then in fact actually we do want to make sure that we're still snapping into those road guidelines of the highway so that everything's super nice and parallel and looks really neat along this water's front here and then we can continue that on up to about there and i'm just going to level the terrain out up to the edge of this road here so that we get a nice neat edge for putting our keys in which may cause a little bit of flooding as we go of course so i'm just going to use the simple seawall key from the content creator pack that we have used throughout Oridon. And we're going to snap this into the road guidelines here so that we get a really nice and consistent and smooth waterfront. I have just actually upgraded that rural road to a nice concrete road now. And then what we will do is just to finish off this key here, I'm just going to turn off snapping and we're going to curve it in like this and then we're actually just going to have a nice little natural rock feature here right in front of the downtown and then we've got more plans for the waterfront here which we will come on to now on the other side of this highway i'd also like to add some keys so what we will do here is actually just grab our terraforming tools and we will just push up the edge of this landscape right up to the edge of this highway so that it's nice and neat there and then again we can grab our content creator pack keys and I'm actually going to use, no, I think we'll continue to use the one with the wall here. And then what we can do is snapping on again is snap it into the road guidelines of this highway so that we get nice, neat keys flowing all the way around it. There's a bit of a retaining wall for the edge of the highway there. And then in a second, we will be doing our main road connections. So we will, of course, have some slip roads and some access down onto this highway from various different points on this road. Now we do also of course need to connect this up this end so i will just go ahead and do that and we're also going to add a couple of slip roads in from the highway here to gain access Okay, so now that that is in and we have also got in a little slip road here which is actually like getting some use now which is quite good to see i suppose there is no highway entrance at all near any of this office park or canal and even so yeah it's definitely getting some action which is great we're going to have a couple of extra points of slip roads certainly one over this side and probably just a very basic slip road system somewhere in the middle as well for access onto that highway but let's get on to the main framework so the inspiration that i am using for this is actually detroit somewhat weirdly and we're just going to take the main framework from it rather than the skyline but let's have a little dive into google earth shall we so here we are in detroit and clearly this is a very heavy heavily gridded american city but there are some really interesting patterns in the downtown which is what i want to take inspiration for today and in particular it is this little semicircle here with these diagonal roads coming off it, which all run down into this little plaza here, which actually has trams running around it as well, which is quite exciting for me. And then, yeah, we've got statues, we've got a concert stage, we've got other various little things going on in the middle of this central plaza here as well, which is something that I definitely want to do. Probably not the concerts, because we've already got that, but I definitely want to be taking this road layout. 
So we are going to be putting in a semicircle. We're going to be having these diagonal roads. And as well, just diving further into it, we can see here we've got these one-way avenues with lots of greenery in the middle. There's a few tables, different things dotted around in amongst the trees in the middle there as well. But lots of greenery running up to this central semicircle here. And similarly on the other side as well, we've got these little bits in the middle of the road here. Um, so lots of like, yeah, green spaces and decorations, which is what I want to go for here. And we've got this nice little plaza in the middle of the semicircle with a few, looks like parasols from here, different tables, that sort of thing. So this is absolutely what we want to do. And as well for Detroit, they also have this raised... Well, I'm going to I'm going to call it a monorail. I'm going to take my monorail inspiration from it. And it's quite interesting here because you can see it runs alongside all of these different roads heading all the way down to the waterfront, all the way along these roads and then all the way along the waterfront as well and into this big building here. So I don't know exactly what it is. Someone from Detroit could probably correct me, but I'm going to steal this as monorail inspiration and use that for our monorail. So running up alongside a lot of these roads that are coming off here. So this is the inspiration really for today's build and we're not going to be taking the skyline from it but we're going to be stealing various different things from Detroit as we go through our downtown area. Uh, in particular this little market as well that we've got right in the centre here which is particularly particularly cute in amongst all of the skyscrapers and the big buildings there. And there's some other waterfront detailing as well that we will be taking at a later date too. But for now we're focusing on the semicircle design going up to this campus Martius Park in the center here. So back into Oridon. Now there's several things I want to do to tidy this up. So firstly, I am going to just delete out these roads that we've put in here. I no longer want them exactly like that. So we are just going to remove them right up to the end there. And we'll trim this one all the way back. I'm also just going to trim this metro because we're actually going to take that underground and into the downtown here. And now I do need to pause the game as well because this highway is not straight at all. And so the one thing very different to Detroit is that I am going to still have this raised highway running right through the centre of my downtown. But I do just want to trim it back for now so that we can get it in really nice and straight and running smoothly through that downtown area. So now for the edge of our central business district, which is what we are focusing on today, I am going to use this road from Canaldon as a guide so that everything is nice and square onto Canaldon, where we are quite heavily straight roads and grids. I think everything should follow on nicely from that. I'm just going to bring out a really long road like that, which is leading out of there. Now, I actually don't want that to be the main connection into downtown. Now, this collector here, if we follow this all the way back through Oridon, so this road that we can see right in the middle here, was our, essentially our starting road right in our starting district, which comes off this junction from the highway here, and it does run literally through the whole of Oridon. So I want this road to be the main road that flows on down into the downtown area. Obviously, they've got different options here. They've got the highway. They've also got this collector coming in, uh, various different options there. But this is a very important arterial running through Oridon. So instead of this road being connected up to this, I'm going to make this the connection and this one can junction into it. So let's just pick up. I'm going to pick up the road without parking because that one should be without parking really anyway. And what we're going to do is we're going to just follow it round the edge of Canaladon here. And then we're going to bring it in, curve it in nicely into this road there. So just like that. And then we can grab the Canaladon connection and we'll just bring it in as a simple T-junction, just like so. And we will sort out all the different road types later on. So now that we've got this frame, I want everything to come pretty square off this. So I am just going to grab this road because I think this will be the main one that we are going to use here. And what I'm going to do is just draw out a road parallel to that, like so. And then we can connect in this other collector this side. But what I then would like from that is it to be 90 degree onto this road here so that we're getting a nice straight grid to work from. Now with our highway, what I would like is for it to come straight across here. So that's again now what we're going to put back in here. So let's just grab our highway. We're going to raised. I want to make sure that it's the correct height. So we'll grab that height. And then I am just going to draw it straight across like so. And I don't mind if it has a little bit of curvature at the end here. So that is actually what I am going to do. 
we'll put in our two connections like this and then we're going to bend it round to connect it up to this side here and so there we go so that has neatened it up quite a bit now the next thing that I want to do is to introduce the semicircle here so we want to be really careful that we're finding the middle of this road so let's just measure this one out and it is 84 units so we're looking for 42 for being the middle so that would be right here so let's just draw ourselves out a really long straight road down the middle there and again we'll come through and change these road types when we know exactly what we want and then what I'm looking for is I think I'm going to do 16 units. So we'll do 16 units here. We'll go onto our curve tool, snap to 16 units this side and put in a nice semicircle using that dimensions all the way round. So just like that. And what I do want when we looked at Detroit, this is a one way road. So I do want this to be one way all the way round, essentially like a little bit of a roundabout, just like that. Now coming off it, we did have those kind of avenue roads. And what I would like to do for that is use one way, two lane roads coming off there to create these little avenues. We will start by snapping into this node because then we get a nice consistent guideline all the way around. So I'm just going to bring that out. I'm literally going to bring that out in a big, long, straight diagonal road for now. Just like that. And then we're going to snap two points away from that and come down perfectly parallel towards it and I think we will come down this side so we use road guidelines to guide that we'll just come down like that now we do need to flip these roads around clearly so that it's on the right side of the road and then what we'll do is we'll do exactly the same thing this side and I do want some other connections here as well so we'll just take the normal two lane road for this and the node has disappeared from here, but we will snap this in and we'll just bring that out to connect up to that arterial there. And we'll do exactly the same thing the other side. And in fact, what we can do here is just measure the distance there, which is 19 units. So we can snap into there and bring this in nicely. So just like that. Now with these diagonal roads, what I am going to do is I... I'm just going to actually just bring them straight into a junction onto this main arterial here. And what we'll do with this one is I'm just going to bring it in like this for now, uh, which is going to look pretty strange. But we will sort this all out with no controller and make this look a lot nicer. Let's just make sure those roads are going the right way. Oh, and we can hit play again because we've got our highway back in. So from this point, what I would like is two diagonal roads coming in to meet at this plaza area in the centre here. So I'm just going to, from this node, I am going to draw out a road which goes straight up to this highway here. And then we're going to follow that on down. At, so that's a 61 degree angle. And we'll make this one meet here. And then what we should be able to do is yeah get that one to come in at the same angle from this side so they're all meeting in the middle here and then from this direction i am going to continue on this collector arterial road down into the canal district this way so we're just going to bring it down the slope and leave it there for now as a main connection point into this area now what i'm just going to do here is just trim these back now that we've got all our angles in perfectly and we're going to put in our plaza so I'm going to grab, and because I know I want trams in here, I'm just going to straight away grab the three-row road with tram tracks. And what we're going to do is bring in a reasonably large square plaza here. So what's the dimension of that? 13 units. Bring it down by 20, across by 13 again, and then back up so that we've got this nice big central square here. In fact, actually, I'm just going to make that slightly narrower. So we'll bring it 10, I think, by 20 there, just like that. So now let's grab these roads and we have actually just leveled up our campus finally to prestigious that is quite exciting so we have finally got some more buildings that we can put into the campus area so we will come on and do that at some point but that is uh, super news actually super news finally so now with this i would actually just like to shift this all down just ever so slightly so that we can get this corner aligned up to this road here so if we just bring that down, I've got alt on so that I know I'm snapping that road completely straight here. And then we can bring this one into this side. We can bring this one straight into the side here. And then we'll just bring out a road parallel to this one coming out this side like so. 
Now across the water's front here, what I would like is a big diagonal road. And I would like it parallel to this, so let's just make sure that that is indeed the case. So we'll bring it out just like so. And then what we can do here as well is also bring out a slightly smooth connection down onto this main arterial here. And I would just like to make sure that this is all on the same level. So we'll grab all of these nodes and make sure the height is at the height that we want here. And this roundabout is totally going in the wrong direction. So let's just amend that before I completely forget. <laughs> and then for this road, let's just bring this down and round. And we'll create another connection like so here. Now I want to create a little bit of interest here. So I'm actually going to change this. And this is going to be a mammoth five-way <laughs> junction in here, which may cause some horrendous traffic issues, but we will see. So I'm actually just going to bring this road down like this. And this one is now going to come out at a 90 degree angle that way. And this is where we can now connect up our highway. So I'm just going to pull the key back ever so slightly. We'll grab the highway road again. And that's just going to come in at a very basic junction into the main road there. And actually what we will do is let's just use slope function from network multi-tool just to give this a bit of a smoother slope up. So I think we'll go all the way from there to there. A nice 3.7 angle. I think is appreciated. So there we've got our main collectors in for this area. So what I do want to do is just then continue the collectors on round this side. Okay, and there we have our main set of collectors and arterials running through the downtown inn. So now what I am going to focus on is the internal road network of our central business district, which is going to be the first thing that is going to go in. So now that we've got all our big roads in that we wanted in, I'm now going to grab just a small two lane road for now. And I'm going to do just one without parking, just so that we haven't got parking all over the downtown. But of course, we are going to change this up as we bring in the public transport networks and all that kind of thing as well. But what I would like to do now is very similar to what we saw in Detroit, is introduce a bit of a grid pattern all around this main network that we've got now in. So what we want to do is use a lot of snapping here, uh, but also curved roads, because I don't want it to be perfectly straight. I want it to kind of mirror where this semicircle lies. And so we're just going to do that that side. I'm going to do exactly the same thing this side as well. So let's just check the distance that we've got here so we can make sure everything is super symmetrical. We've got a distance of 11, yeah, which is this one. So we'll take that. And so we'll just come out a little bit straight here and then we'll curve that in down to this road and exactly the same thing there, make that nice and smooth. And then what we'll continue to do is do similar grids coming up to the collector this side as well. I'm going to leave these middle bits relatively open, but what I would like to do here is actually bring in one that's very close to the highway just like that so that we can bring in some buildings along that side too. So we'll do exactly the same thing here. 
bring that out and there'll be some buildings really up right close to the highway there and then it also means as well we can do some really nice under the highway detailing next to this road here maybe a few little hidden bars and that sort of thing hidden underneath the highway might not go amiss there and then out this side what i will start to do is bring in some slightly different patterns here so i'm going to go from about the middle here i'm going to go out straight for 15 units and then we're going to bring it in down to this collector for 23. so again we can go 15 units out here this is going to be a slightly different length here but we can bring out the same type of angle there and then similarly i'm going to follow on these roads here so there's going to be an awful lot of crossroads which is something that i typically actually try to avoid in downtowns but it is going to be unavoidable here <laughs> but we'll bring that road down that side as well and i want to keep this relatively open so that we've got flexibility to add in different buildings should we so wish when we're coming to design it and you can see here as well that these angles are slightly off which is what i want to go for here i don't want to go for a perfectly rigid style grid because then at least when our roads are like that it gives us some interesting angles for the placement of the buildings but again i'm just going to bring in a few extra small connections like so and actually what i am going to do here is just bring in a road parallel to this one again to start giving us some different options for designing there and we can then connect this back into this road here to keep that traffic flowing i'm going to leave this side clear because i know exactly what building i want in here and it's quite a large one so we are going to keep that bit clear but i am going to connect the road up underneath the highway just like so back here and then just to bring in a few more different shapes, I'm going to add in a little triangle down this side. So I have just added in a few more internal roads down here and just fleshed out this area just a little bit more with a few interesting things. I've left this space here purposefully blank because we are going to bring in a bit of a transport hub. So I'd like to put that in first before we start designing the road network around it. Now I have also, you'll notice, left a lot of these spaces blank down here. And that is because I'm not 100% sure exactly what will come in those spaces at the moment. So I want to be able to shape the road network around them. It will be high density. It will be pretty well built up, but it's not going to be the central business district, which is really going to be situated around this central area here. And it's super important to get the road network in first before you start doing your downtown, because otherwise it's so easy to end up with a really cramped space or actually a space that's just far too spaced out. So having a road network in really helps when you place down those buildings so that you can check the orientation from different angles and make sure the skyline is exactly how you want it to be. So that is why it's super important to do this road network for your downtown before you start placing those buildings. But it will matter less for these outskirts areas, which is why I have left them. So the next thing that I want to come on to do is introducing the public transport and the public transport options. Now, there is a really important asset that I want to place in here, and that is the content creator Metro Plaza exchange hub thing. And so I, what I want is this right on the corner of this square here. Yeah, let's just make sure that's brought up to road height. Let's give it a tiny bit of breathing room in between the road here so we can come in and use some surface painter in here just to fill in these gaps. Now, with our metro station, what I do want to do is make sure that we have got a really nice road frame network for it. So I'm going to bring out a road from here and then down from that, what we can do is give an edge to this metro station. I'm going to have to turn off staffing for this. So we can get our angles in perfectly so let's bring that up to the road here and then we will also bring a road down this side and actually what i am thinking here is that i would like to use a pedestrian road so i'm thinking i'm just going to use a park life path as road road so let's bring that in down like that because then it can connect into that junction we can ban cars and the such like on it and it will look quite nice i think up against this metro plaza and then what I would like in here is our main train transport hub. 
So let's just again grab this road. And in fact, actually, what I will use for this, I think, is an avenue road. So it gives it a little bit more importance. So we will just use a big four lane road there. And then we can continue to connect this up, I think. We'll just do it straight across that way. So the transport hub option that I would like to use is actually something a little bit uh, different to what I would normally do. And I want monorail and I want train in here. So we are actually going to use the train monorail hub. And actually where I put these roads in it does not make any sense. So let's get rid of that just for a second. And I'm going to put in one. I'm actually going to put in two. <laughs> may seem like a strange option. But if we put them in back to back, what this gives us is a much larger transport hub than just having two train platforms, one metro and two monorail. We now get double that because I didn't want and I'm not hugely keen on the big train hubs that come with the uh, mass transit DLC. They're not the prettiest thing and they also have six platforms. I definitely don't need six train platforms for Auradon. So we're just going to leave it as this. So I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. But what I'm thinking here is I'm going to try and if we connect that in like that, I'm going to use no controller just to sort out this junction. So we're going to adjust these right back. And I think we've got an extra node in there, which we'll need to get rid of. So let's go to network multi-tool and yeah, we'll re remove that node from there. Now if we just sort of straighten out, how does that look? It's quite a large junction, isn't it? So in fact, let's just readjust this and we can move these back over just for a second. And what I will do is bring this one straight out of this junction, like so, and then connect it up to the road there, just so that we know that that is all straight and perfect. And now this road is super twisty and bendy, so let's bring that out straight. And yeah, I think we'll have a nice little triangle shape in there, which I think looks pretty good. And then we can come in with no controller and just straighten that out. And yeah, this little bit of tearing here is quite frustrating. So what we need to do just to get rid of that is slightly move some of these sections here. And if we just move it just enough, it should be able to get rid of it. But we might have to come back into no controller and just shorten some of these connections just a little bit. There we go. So if we bring that one slightly further up, that's got rid of that weird tearing now. But then that gives us a bit of interest, I think, next to the Metro Plaza as well. We've got some different shapes going in around there. So there's lots of detailing opportunities for different buildings around the plaza. So now with our train hub, we can connect these in. So I think what I will do is I will still have it out on its own road here because I think that just makes sense. So we can bring out another connection. There's going to be an awful lot of junctions here, but it is what it is. So we can do it like that. And what I'm going to do is central centralize this road uh, to the front of the station here. So once we've got it nicely into position, I think that will do nicely. Then we can bring in a central road here. So there we go. So that road lines nicely up to the front of the and then I would just like to bring in a road around the other side because we need to connect in the other side of the station as well. So we can do that. And then what I will do is do a connection here, which is just directly in front of it, bring it out nicely there. And actually what I will do is just do a large avenue road so it gives a little bit more framing to the front there. So next thing, we do want to connect in our train lines. So coming back to here, let's grab our train lines. Uh, we'll create a raised section of train line track. And what I do want to do is I'm going to turn off guidelines here. So if we bring that out straight, what I'd like to do is get this to go between these pillars here, which we can just about do with just a tiny bit of move it on this pillar here, just to adjust that back so that that train line flows through there. And then we can grab this one and we'll bring it out parallel to the other train line here. So let's just turn off snapping to nodes. We'll sort out the height of these in just a second. And then what we'll do is we'll just bring it out and round this other pillar here and then continue it on straight with this one. So now what we are going to have to do with the train lines to get it through the downtown, because I definitely don't want any level crossings through the downtown, is we are going to have to sink it a little bit. So let's just make sure that these are all the correct height here. 
and nice and level. So what we can do from this point is start to sink it into the ground. So let's hit page down. We'll go to our regular mode and we will need whiteness on for this so that we can see what we are doing here. So let's bring it down by, I think we'll bring it down, bring it down by 10 units feels quite sensible. And then we'll bring it underground for now. Although I would like it exposed, I think would look much better. So actually let's, yeah, let's change that. Let's change that right from the offset. And then what we're going to do is curve this nicely into this station here. So because we know we're going down 10 units, let's start to bring this one down. So we'll actually just come out straight for four units and then we'll start to go down. And I just want it snapping to angle here. There we go. We'll bring it down 11 units like that right up to the road here and then we can bring it out through we'll have to check the height of that in just a second and what I'll, we'll do for this platform is just connect it up like so and hopefully that will be on this level before it starts to slope so it doesn't look too bizarre in fact i don't think we've got enough room there so let's just let's just slope that in nicely and we can slope that one down to there. If we go to node controller as well, let's just make that a sloped node so that it connects all in nicely. And then let's start to bring this one across. So we'll just sort out the slopes this end as well with network multi-tool slope function. We'll go there to there. So yeah, 3.7% grade feels fair. And we'll do exactly the same thing this side as well. So that we get some nice smooth slopes in there. Then we have got our train lines running parallel to each other. We just need to connect this one up into this line. And this is the international line here. So let's just upgrade this bit of road here as well. If we just move that node over, we can then upgrade just this one section to raised so that we can check the height of it against the rail. And at first glance, it doesn't appear to be really enough clearance. So let's just grab our nodes in this side. And that feels like it's better, although we'll have to wait for a train to come and just test it. And then now I do have another train line here as well that I would like to hook up, that I would like to bring out into this way because we can have the port down here. And so I think it's quite important that we're getting passengers to it, particularly because we will put in the cruise line as well at some point. So we definitely want to bring in cruise passengers straight into the downtown so they can get out to wherever they need to go. So let's also put in that train line. So yeah, there we go. So we have got our train line in and we've extended that one out so that it's ready to go on down through to the industrial port and on round this way through Oridon. Now just to decorate up these train lines as well, I would like to add in keys. So I'm just going to go ahead in a little time lapse and put those in. So there we go we have got the keys in there and i'm having a little bit of difficulty with it flipping around here so i'll have a play with that and see if we can get that right in the detailing time lapse and i have just spotted as well i've missed one little bit or i just want to pull the key up so it's nice and neat against the road there yeah that just helps to make these train lines look an awful lot neater so now that we do have trains in i am actually just going to very quickly so we can try and get some people moving around i'm going to bring in a train line so I'm going to actually, this will be our first train line, which will come in from the only train station we've got at the moment, which is acting as the intercity train line here. So we're going to create a new line and we are going to bring that in down into our hub here. Uh, we need to provide it with some electric, which I will do, of course, as well. And then we'll just connect it back up into this train station there. Let's give that a colour and we don't need to name it for the moment because it is the only one <laughs> that is actually active. Now here as well, I would like to say that this accepts intercity trains. I'm going to turn it off on this station so that we only got the intercity line. 
that's coming in. Although I can't seem to do that. That is a bug, isn't it? Yeah, so I can't seem to do that at the moment. Which also means that we won't be able to do it here. Yeah, so intercity trains are going to continue to come into here. Unless we break the line, actually. Which we can do here. So let's just for now, we're just going to break that so that intercity trains can only come in on the intercity line here and down into our station. So that'll work nicely for us. And let's just bring in some power so that we can get things working down here. I'm just going to do a really, really crude connection for now. We'll bring it up over this highway and out this way and connect it up there. OK, so in terms of Metro, which is the next one that I do want to connect up, so we have our metro line that is coming in from Canaladon through to the intercity bus station there. So I definitely want to connect this one up into this main metro hub. So we're just going to bring this out and we're going to curve it through. Now I'm not going to add in any stations in the meantime. We're just going to bring it into the hub for now. And then we can do that once we have a better idea of exactly where we want the stations to be and the buildings that are coming in here. But I am actually just going to give a really crude little link up to the intercity side of this hub for now. So again, just so we've potentially got people flowing through this metro hub here. And I'm not entirely sure what's happened there. So <laughs> let's just delete that and try again. So let's just add a really simple backs and forwards there. And then we can also extend this line on into the big metro plaza. And we'll just need to drag in some new stops here. So for Metro for the moment, that will do. We'll obviously have quite an extensive Metro system going out around the downtown area. But the other one that I do want to bring in that we have a connection here as well for is the monorail. So let's just grab our monorail line here. And what I do want to do is bring it out underneath this highway. So let's turn all snapping on so we get a nice angle. So I have literally just brought it straight under the motorway like that. And obviously the highway is nowhere near tall enough to accommodate that. What we're going to do is we're going to grab those nodes and we are just going to raise them up just a little bit so that we've got a little bit more height running there now of course that looks ridiculous so let's use network multi-tool and the slope function to give ourselves a nice easy slope there 1.4 percent grade is super that's exactly what we want there something really really gentle that wouldn't be that noticeable hopefully and then we can do exactly the same thing the other side and that should hopefully give us enough clearance for our monorail, but I will, of course, check that. Now, with the monorail, what I do want is it running alongside all of the roads. So I'm going to bring in a stop right here, uh, which is a nice sort of halfway distance in the middle of the downtown there. We'll bring in extra ones as we go as well, but for this line, that will do. And so we'll just bring this out. In fact, I think we will, we will bring it in and we'll follow this road round and give it a nice smooth bend here into the station there and actually here this is such a sharp bend so let's just remove those and see if we can get that in a little bit better but yeah that feels a little bit smoother and then we can run it alongside this road and then i think we will just bring it straight down and through into this hub so we'll need to curve it around just a little bit here and swoop it on round like this and then we can design that nicely around the buildings as we go and i do want a monorail that is also coming out to the waterfront over here as well so let's just grab our monorail line again and we're going to bring that straight out like that and then we are going to run along the waterfront here and what i will do as well for now is add in another station i think we'll add that in here just along the water's front there and then we can continue the line on this way and again we'll do a nice smooth connection and then we'll take this monorail line on this way and we'll just leave it connected up to another station here for now so now this is just a very rough network for now and we will develop this and change this as we add in more infrastructure and of course we'll have more metro running throughout it but the other transport option that i do want to bring in is trams so we have the end of our tram line right here and what i would like to do with it is if we just grab our tram road here we can bring this on and collect this up to this connector here and let's just turn collision off for this so that we're not interrupting that bike path 
And then what we'll do from this point is we're going to grab our tram road because this is going to be a very large central park here. So with the tram road here, I'm just going to bring it in somewhat randomly through the central park area for now. And then once we come to develop the central park, we'll change this all up to match exactly what we need there. But I'm just going to flow it on through and connect it up to this junction here because then what we will do here is take our tram road. We will take the road with the tram in the middle of it and upgrade this flowing round here. And I think what we will do with these roads as well is keep these as tram roads. So we'll have a dedicated tram line on the side flowing one direction up and down. Uh, I think we'll just do it up to this point here. So we'll bring this one back down and that can connect back into there. And then at this point, let's grab our two lane tram road again and we can bring that out here and then down this way. And then we will also flow this on and this road with one that we were using. Yeah, this one down into this tram turnaround, which is situated here. And actually what I will do is I'm going to bring this off here. And then in this area, we can have a tram exchange next to all of our other transport options. So developing out that transport hub vibe. Um, so yeah, so there we go. So we have got our tram turn around there and I am actually just going to make it ever so slightly smaller just so that junction isn't quite so close to the main road there. So just like that. And this gives us so many great detailing opportunities as well in this area. So let's now grab our tram line and extend it on down and see if we can just get some people coming in. I might have to plop in a building just so that we can see that actually happening. So now I do just really want to encourage people to come to this area. So I'm quickly just going to plop in a couple of unique buildings, which I'm not going to stay like this. I would just add, but we'll do for the moment. So <laughs> Meteor Park is definitely not staying in the middle of this roundabout there. And the Plaza of the Dead, which is not centralised to the station, is definitely not staying there either. But for now, um, we'll just have those in so that we can see if we can encourage people to get down here. And we will need a way for people to walk across here. So I am actually just going to go back to Traffic Manager and allow pedestrians to cross on those two positions there. We've got a helicopter taken off from the metro station. Now, the next thing I do want to touch on is just a few more slipways off this highway. So we have got this connection here, which is nicely getting a bit of use now. And that actually brings them off in all four directions, connecting onto this ring road, highway road there. But what I would like to do is just add in a little bit of extra help for them getting down into the downtown. So let's go to our highway slip roads and I am just going to add in one very, very basic slip road just in here. So I'm just going to raise this up just a little bit and we can use move it to make this nice in a second and bring that in. And this is just going to act as an additional way in to the downtown there. And it is very, very rudimentary just sloping directly onto this arterial there, but we'll give them a little bit of help in terms of their access. Now I'm just going to move that back a little bit to extend this out so we get a slightly nicer slope in there. And then what I'll do is just tuck this in a little bit and pull it out. And then we can use the node controller here to align those. That just gives us a nicer, smoother connection off the highway there. And then let's again use slope tool just to make that slope as smooth as we possibly can. So it's quite steep but it is a highway ramp, so that will do. And then I am also actually just going to do another connection in from this side as well. That's just a little bit of extra help for them getting into the downtown there. And then what I would also like to do is provide some ways out and back onto the highway this side. So I will do that. Okay, and there we go. So it looks a little bit odd here, but once we've got buildings in all around it, it should blend in quite nicely. And it is just something a little bit different. I've just noticed this car. Let's just... uh. I think they freaked out because I was adjusting nodes. So let's just get rid of them and that should all work a little bit better. OK, so the next thing that I want to do is just a little bit of work on the waterfront out here because I want to have a really nice picturesque artsy type waterfront out in the front of our downtown landscape, which is going to sit right here. So what I will do is just go into our terraforming tools, into our level terrain. I'm going to grab the height of this one because this is a pretty good height, I think, for setting up on a waterfront, especially if we want to bring in ferries and that sort of thing. So I am just going to grab this level and I'm going to terraform out these platforms here all around the monorail station. And we'll have stairs coming down onto this lower level from that monorail station from the downtown area so that people can easily access this part. 
Well, I am just going to cut this across here. Uh, I'm going to bring it back just slightly so it's slightly narrower, slightly narrower a bit there. And this end is going to be built up in natural rock waterfront. And then, yeah, back here, we'll just terraform this all out into a nice big flat plateau that we can then build on. And we are going to stick to the shape of the terrain here as much as possible. Now, I am just going to get rid of these little bits of sand just here. Um, I definitely want to keep it on this end element here. And I'm just going to soften out that area there just a tiny touch on that side of the monorail. So first things first, I will add the keys along the waterfront. We'll do exactly the same as we've done here. We're just going to use the simple seawall key and we're going to follow it around the coastline here. So yeah, there we go. So we've got our pathway in all around the bottom of the keys there and the keys are all nice and in. So now we can bring in our road network. I'm just going to grab a two lane road here. And what I will do is have one connection, I think, coming in from here. So we'll just create a raised section of road that comes in over the path and then it's going to hit down to the ground. I think we'll go around the coast, around the front here. So then we'll bring in a road and we will turn all of our snapping on and follow the road guidelines of the key round here. Bring that in nice and tight to the key here. And then this side, what we will do is actually just bring it back out against this path network here and we will follow this down to this end, just like so. And then we'll just bring in one more connection to the main collector from up here. And that is going to, if we just turn topography on so that we can see that, let's bring it straight down actually there. That makes the most sense. Let's follow this. Let's continue this road on around the edge of the key here. And then we can just bring this in to connect up to it. So that will do for that bit. So I think that just leaves us with a little bit of detailing to do for now. So I'm just going to make a few connections into this highway here. I'm going to go around and sort out all of these different roads. So we've got bike lanes where we want to have bike lanes. We've got tree lined roads where we want to have tree lined roads, that kind of thing. And then also use node controller on these big junctions just to sort them out and to make them look lovely and pretty. And then there will just do a little bit more detailing, a couple of little plaza areas just to give us a little taster of what it will be like when we finally do get our skyline in in the next episode. And that will be it for today. So let me jump into a time lapse and I'll be right back.
okay so there we go so that's it's not very much detailing really for the downtown because we need to wait until we've got the buildings in but i have just done a little bit of detailing around our transport hub here so put in a couple of green cities assets looking like eateries with a couple of these nice outdoor eating areas next to it a tiling just to jazz that up obviously put in some raised walkways here to get people to and from the monorail and train station across to the tram hub and then down to the metro station we've obviously done up the tram hub here uh, with some nice roofs little ticket booths that we've used all throughout Oradon, a couple of toilets and then we do have a few of these nice little rock garden planters dotted around as well just extended the plaza of the dead and moved that round a little bit there i think i'll keep it in actually next to this metro hub a little bit of nature as well just to bring in the outskirts of Oradon into the downtown here so there will be a few little rock gardens just like this dotted around the center of the downtown and then we've done a bit of detailing for these double roads here so exactly like we saw in detroit we've done some nice green natural detailing well, that's poking onto the highway a little bit in these in these little center parts of these roads here and we have got a path that runs all the way up through the middle of them a nice shady path there so hopefully people will actually use that and it'll be quite cool i've sorted out the road so i've done some nice tree line roads here and i have just put in my own trees so i've used the grassy line roads and put in my own trees so i could have the spacing that i wanted here another natural strip in between those two there as well and then we have put in our nice rocky garden area here too and done a little bit of path connection so that people can walk down onto these keys and get down all the way around this waterfront area too so for now that really is all that we are going to do and the next step is to start getting in our buildings and our big skyline which is going to come in the next episode and i just i can't wait i'm so excited i'm so excited but we have got our frame laid out here all nice and ready for those buildings to be placed in and so the main thing that I wanted for Oradon is something that's not uniform, like the rest of the city. We've got lots of straight lines in here, but it's lots of different angles so that we can have buildings sitting at different angles to make our skyline really interesting. But that is going to be it for today. So if you have enjoyed this episode, please do drop me a like below. Let me know what you thought of the road network and any suggestions for the downtown. If you get them in quick, I may be able to implement them. Otherwise, that is all from me for now, and I will catch you next time for the skyline. Bye bye. Thank you.